Now let's talk about the Pythagorean identities. There's three of them that you need to be aware of. The first one is the most common. Sine squared of theta plus cosine squared theta is equal to 1. That's the first one. Here are the other two. 1 plus tangent squared is equal to secant squared. And 1 plus cotangent squared is equal to cosecant squared. So those are the Pythagorean identities. But let's focus on the first one and how we can use it. So let's say sine theta is equal to 4 over 5. And let's say the angle theta is between 0 and 90. Using this information, and this is in degrees by the way, what is the value of cosine theta? How can we find the value of cosine? So using the Pythagorean identity, sine squared plus cosine squared is 1, if we know the value of sine, we could find the value of cosine. Sine is 4 over 5. So now let's calculate the value of cosine. 4 squared is 16. 5 squared is 25. And 1, we can write it as 25 divided by 25. Now the next thing that we could do is we could subtract both sides by 16 over 25. So cosine squared theta is 25 over 25 minus 16 over 25. 25 minus 16 is 9. So we have 9 over 25. And now we need to take the square root of both sides. The square root of 9 is 3. The square root of 25 is 5. Now it can be plus or minus 3 over 5. Now which sign should we choose? Should we choose positive 3 divided by 5 or negative 3 divided by 5? To answer that question, we need to look at the angles. Theta is in quadrant 1. It's between 0 and 90 degrees. And in quadrant 1, cosine is positive. So the answer that we're going to have to choose is positive 3 over 5. So we need to use the quadrant to find the final sign. Let's try another example. Let's say cosine is equal to 8 over 17. And let's say the angle theta is between 3 pi over 2 and 2 pi. So based on this, what is the value of sine? So let's use the same formula. Sine squared plus cosine squared is equal to 1. So we need to find the value of sine. Cosine is 8 over 17. 8 squared is 64. And 17 squared is 289. And 1, let's rewrite it as 289 divided by 289. Any number divided by itself is 1. So we got to subtract 289 by 64. So sine squared is equal to 225 divided by 289. Now let's take the square root of both sides. So sine theta is going to be the square root of 225 is 15. And we know the square root of 289 is 17. So now which sign should we use, positive or negative? So if the angle is between 3 pi over 2 and 2 pi, what quadrant is it located in? Now keep in mind, 3 pi over 2 is equivalent to 270. 2 pi is 360. So it's located in quadrant 4. And in quadrant 4, sine is negative, but cosine is positive. So therefore, sine is going to be negative 15 over 17 in this particular example. And so that's the answer. Let's try one more example. Let's say that sine theta is equal to 2 over 5. And tangent theta is less than 0. What is the value of cosine theta? So before we use the formula, 
let's find out what quadrant the angle is located in. So first, we know that sine is positive. Sine is positive in quadrants 1 and 4. Now, tangent is less than 0. Tangent is positive in quadrants 1 and 3. Tangent is y over x. In quadrant 1, x and y are both positive. So if you divide a positive number by a positive number, it's going to be positive. In quadrant 3, x and y are both negative. When you divide two negative numbers, you'll get a positive value. In quadrants 2 and 4, tangent is negative. Now we know tangent is less than 0. So it's less than 0 or negative in quadrants 2 and 4. But sine has to be positive. So both statements are true in quadrant 4. Sine is positive, but tangent is negative. Now cosine Cosine is positive in quadrants 1 and 4. Since our angle is in quadrant 4, we know our final answer has to be positive. So just keep that in mind. Now let's finish it. So let's start with the Pythagorean identity. Sine is 2 over 5. 2 squared is equal to 4. And 5 squared is 25. Now just like before, we're going to write 1 in terms of this number, the denominator. So 1 is equal to 25 divided by 25. And 25 minus 4 is 21. So now at this point, let's take the square root of both sides. So cosine theta is going to equal plus or minus square root 21, and the square root of 25 is 5. We can't simplify the square root of 21. Now we're going to choose the positive answer. So our final answer is positive square root 21 over 5. Since cosine since theta is in quadrant 4, cosine has to be positive.